Hey guys, it has stopped giving me the beep to tell me where I'm at, so I don't like that. Okay, so I'm going to try something a little different. We're going to do this from the board. So what we're going to be doing this week, we're going to start a new lesson, lesson five, and that's multiplying whole numbers. But before we do that, I want to talk about what you did last year in fourth grade. In fourth grade, you multiplied up to two digits by two digits. So a problem would have been like 45 times 17. Now, that would have been your math problem. What we're going to be looking at in fifth grade is we're going to be doing the three digits by two digits. Now, I just want to review something with you. One of the methods that I have to show you is called the area model. And with the area model, what we're doing is we're basically breaking every number down with the 10. So, for example, 45. How many tens are there? There's four tens. So you would put 40 right here. Okay, and how many ones are there? There's five. So five right there. And the next number is 17. How many tens are there? There's one, so that's 10. And there's seven ones. And now what we do is I'm going to scoot you a little closer. And now what we do is you just multiply area model. When you find area of anything, you multiply the length times the width. So area would be 10 times 40, which is 400. I'm going to do this in a different color, which is 400. 10 times 5, 50. Okay, so you did that area. This next one, you do the 7, same thing, 7 times 40. 7 times 4 is 28. And I add my zero, which is 280. Seven times five is 35. Now what we have to do is we have to add the single numbers in the boxes. One way that I do this is I actually keep them, I try to get them as lined up as possible inside the box. So I go, okay, zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus eight is eight. Four plus two is six. Plus... 0 plus 5 is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. All right, so now I know that I have to add 680 times... No, I don't. I have to do 685. Let's start again. I have to do 680 plus 85. So I'm going to rewrite this where it's vertical, which means it is on top of each other. So 5 plus 0 is 5. 8 plus 8 is 16. Carry my 1, 760. So the answer to 45 times 17 is 765. Now that is the area model. Do I personally like the area model? No, I don't. But some people do, and that's okay. As long as you get the correct answer and you're not doing anything wrong, I don't care what method you use. But I like you to get the right answer. All right. In fifth grade, what we're going to be working with is three digits by two digits. So I'm going to move you over here. All right. So... This is the same exact problem that you have in your packet. Here. I just blew it up a little bit. Now, basically what has happened is they've turned this area into a big area model. And I'm going to explain it. It says a mall is designing an outdoor space. The available space is 127 feet by 46 feet. The plan is for a grassy section with a width of 40 feet. Next to the grass will be a cement sidewalk with a width of 6 feet. What is the area of the available space in square feet? All right, so basically what has happened is this mall is designing a space outside. And this is the area they have been given, okay? 
This is green, like yours, but you probably can't see it for some reason. This is green. This is the sidewalk. Now, this is labeled just like yours. From this point to this point is 40 feet. Okay, so this is 40 feet of green. green. From this point to this point is 6 feet. This is your width. This is how wide it is. It is uh, 40 feet wide and then 6 feet wide. Now, if you look on the opposite side, you have a total of 46 feet going from top to bottom. How did they get that? Well, 40 plus 6. So, you get it. Okay, so, right here, we have, this is your length, how long something is. We have 100 feet, 20 feet, 7 feet. So, they have given us our widths and our lengths. What they want is the total number of square footage. Square footage is when you multiply the length, that's the wrong place, when you multiply the width times the length. And they did the first plot for us. They said that 40 times 100 is 4,000 square feet. Now, I wrote this two different ways. I said square feet, or the way I prefer you to write it, is 4,000 FT, which is the abbreviation for feet, with the little superscript of a 2. Now I'm going to get my notes because I have to read along with you. And my cast makes it hard to turn the page. Okay, it says, the area model above shows the length and width of each space. What is the total length, the total length of this space? Now, unlike our width, they did not give us a total. So how do we come up with how much space is from point A to point B? Think about it. How would we do this? How would we come up with the answer for these areas up here, but I need the total down here? Thank you. Very good. If you said you add, that is correct. You're going to add 100 plus 20 plus 7. You're going to add that together, and you're going to get your length. So 100 plus 20 is 120, plus 7 is 127. So I'm going to erase this because y'all know this is not to scale. Okay, so the length total is 127. And we're just doing regular feet. Now some people have say, well, Miss Moore, why don't we put, we did three of them, why don't we don't put feet? Three. Here's why you don't. When you add feet, inches, centimeter, any length, when you add them, the unit stays the same. It's only when you multiply like this, because you're actually putting two things, like you're going, okay, you have 40 feet over here plus 20 feet over here. So you're multiplying two different feet, so that's, you're having it squared. When we add, you don't have to do that. So it's just 127 feet. That's the entire length. Okay, that's A. B, how is the area of each space found? How do we find area? And I just told you a few minutes, minutes ago, it, come, it comes into play when we talk about the area model. How do we find area? How do we find the area? Well, we find the area by multiplying the length which is an L, capital L, by the width, which is a capital W. So you multiply, okay, you're going to put it right here, multiply length times width. And I need you to know what the L means. So the L means length. The W means width. Okay, how long something is, how wide something is. That's how you find your area. So that's 1B. Okay. C, how can you find the total area? So once we work all this thing out, how are we going to find the actual answer? What did we do over here when we did our example? Do you remember? We added the little boxes. Now, 
those little boxes, if you remember, okay, they have a special name. I'm going to get a different color. They have a special name. Their name is called a partial product. So what happens is we have to add, well, I thought this would be darker. One second. You add the partial products together. You have to add all the partial products together. That's how we find area. You add the partial products together. Okay. So that's how we find total area. Now it says the product of 27 and 46 is the total area of the outdoor. I'm sorry, let me start all over again. The product of 127 and 46 is the total area of the outdoor area. How can you find the area for the grass? Well, we're looking at the grass, right? The grass is the green. Now, what we have to do to find area, we're just doing the area model. So we multiply the width times the length. And for right now, they only want the grass. So we're just doing the top green. Okay, so we already know our big space. Our big space is 4,000 square feet. So we have to find our two smaller spaces. And all we have to do is multiply our width, which is 40, by our lengths that are 20 and 7. So, okay, 40 times 20. What we can do is 4 times 2 is 8. How many zeros do we have? There's one in the 40 and one in the 20, so two zeros. So 800 square feet. Okay, that's that one. The next one, we have 40 feet times 7 feet. And I think we did 4 times 7 over there. And 4 times 7 is 28 squared feet. Now, I made a mistake. Because I forgot the zero of a cell. 280. Usually at this point in time, one of the kids in the room would have yelled at me. But I'm in here by myself, so I don't have that. So what do I do to find the total area using the partial products? What do I do? I add the partial products together. So add the partial products together. And I made another mistake right here. So we're going to add the partial products together. And the partial products for letter D for the top one. So you're going to say add partial, add partial products. And the partial products would be 4,000 plus 800 plus 280. Okay, that's your partial product. So let's just go ahead and add that up. So we have zeros, which is equal to zero. Zero, zero, eight, which is equal to eight. Two, two plus eight is 10. So I put the zero here, carry my one, and that's 5,000. Okay, it's still square feet. So 5,080. 5,080 square feet. Okay, now this is the green. Green. Okay. Now, it says, can we find the area of the sidewalk? Yes, we can find the area of the sidewalk. We have the width. We have the length. Because they're the same length. So, a little bit here and I have a fan going and it's making my nose itch okay all we gotta do six times 100 
600. So 600 square feet. Okay, I have 20 times 6. 2 times 6 is 12. And then the 100. Okay, then y'all can't read that. I'm going to have to come up with a better thing. When our internet gets fixed and I can use my board, it's going to be different, but I can't use my board right now. Okay, so I have 600 feet squared. 20, 20 times that is 120 feet squared. And then 6 times 7, 6 times 7, 6 times 6 is 36, plus 6 is 42. Okay, so we have the partial products for our sidewalk. Now what do we do? It says, what do we do, what do we do, what do we do? Um, it says, how do you find the area of the sidewalk? Well, what? how did we find the area of the grass? We added the partial products together. That's the same thing we got to do for the sidewalk. So I'm going to veer this a little bit so we can read. Okay. So we add partial products. Okay, and the partial products right now are 600 plus 120 plus 42. Now those are your partial products. So now what we have to do is we have to take all that and add them together. So 0 plus 0 plus 2 is 2. 0, 2, and 4 is 6. 6 and 1 is 7 square feet. Now we have two different, and we have, oops, sorry, sidewalk. Sidewalk's one word, by the way. Okay, so we have the sidewalk area. And we have the grassy green area. All right. Okay, letter E says, what is the total area? So to find the total area, what I have to do is I have to take the grassy green area, which is 5,080, 5 and add 762 to it. So once you add that all together, you write your answer down. I'm going to give you a minute to figure it out. You added. Make sure you carry. A 6 plus 8 is going to give you a double digit number. Make sure you carry. So the total area of the whole area is 5,842 square feet. Okay. That is, I want you to do right here, 5,842 square feet. That is my total area of the area that the mall wants to redo. That's the total area. Now, we're going to go ahead and do the back side. And we're going to talk about... We're just going to talk about it. We're going to talk about partial products. Now, when we have partial products, and I'm going to move back this way. When we have partial products, when you have a partial product, one way to do the partial product is to break the numbers apart. And like right here, and basically what it's doing is you have 127 times 46. So 127 times 46. So you break it apart. You choose one and you break it up. That's how you multiply with partial products without using the area model. So this is if you do not use the area model. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do 127 and then 127. I want to break up the 46. How many tens are there? There's 40, so 40 times that, and there's six ones. So I'm multiplying, and yes, I did not line it up right because I have a reason. This is a zero, so no matter what you multiply by, your answer is going to be zero. So all you basically have to do is drop it. 
And then just multiply your 4. 4 times 7 is 28. Carry 8. Carry my 2. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 2 is 10. Carry my 1. 4 times 1 is 4. Plus 1 is 5. So I'll get 8. I'm sorry. 5,080. And then I do the 127 times 6. And I get... See, 2, because that's 42. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 4 is 16. 1 times 6 is 6, plus 1 is 7. If you look back at your paper, the partial products added up to the same thing. So now all I do is I take these two numbers and add them together. And if you guessed it, my answer is the same. It is 8. Well, no, it's not. It is 5,842 5, square feet. So the partial product without the area model is you're just not breaking apart both numbers, just one number. Okay, so number one, how is multiplying a three-digit number similar to multiplying by a two-digit number? What's the difference? Think about the difference. Okay, now think about how it's similar. How is it similar? When we do the partial products and stuff, and we do the area model, how is multiplying a 2 by 2 digit number different from a 3 by 2 digit number? Not different, the same. How is it the same? You've, it's the same because you follow the same procedure. You follow the same procedure for both by adding the partial products. So both of them, you are adding the partial products. And that's it. So both models or both types require you to follow the same steps or procedures. You add the partial products. Now that is the video for just the first part. I'm going to do a different video for the more area multiplication model because I don't want to run out of time because the other day it cut me off. So I'm going to end the video right here and I'll be right back with, I'll probably just do the camera because you can see it better. But I just want to do this. So I will see y'all in a little bit.